Hello everyone, how's it going? On today's video, I'm gonna show real quick how to add a model to your section or do an augmented reality model in a 2D you know, drawing representation. Uh, so here, I'm gonna show how basically to do this, um, which allows you to incorporate you know, actually your model. So the first thing you're gonna do is actually uh, download Spark AR Studio. So Spark AR is a very good software um, and that's what it's used to create Instagram filters. So we're gonna use that. So make sure you install that. And then as soon as you do, you're gonna go to create a new one and create a 3D animated poster. And that one already has a lot of things pre-set up. So it's gonna be very plug and play. Uh, so here as you open, you can see there is a poster already and there is a 3D model associated with the poster. So what we're going to do is actually change what image is associated with the poster and that's what it uses to track or understand where the 3D model is going to go. And then we're going to add the 3D model where it says drag here. So here the first thing we're going to do is actually change the texture. So on texture here you're going to go to new texture and then you find your file. So here I'm going to go to the drawings, find my section looks good and automatically it already positions it to be the image used for the tracking and then for the 3d model what we're gonna do is on the plus sign import from computer and what I'm gonna do is add a FBX that I already have exported just keep in mind that the 3d model has to be you know very light it cannot be super heavy so um, whatever you you can to do that you know there's ways we can do a video later on how to optimize 3d models so after it loads, it's going to be here. So stage 2.13. And then I can drag this whole folder, which accounts for the 3D model, the textures, everything embedded. I can drag this into this thing that says drag here. Uh, and then I can delete what it says delete me. And then you can see that the model is way bigger than the poster. We want to you know, remove that, um, you know, reduce the size of the model. So you can click on the model and there's two ways of doing this. One is actually changing on the scale. So you can type, you know, uh, 0 0.1 on X, 0 0.1 on Y and 0 0.1 on Z. Or you can actually move the model around in the actual 3D world. Um, you can rotate it and you can scale from here right away. So for this one, let's do um, well, we can align it with the section itself. So for that, we're just gonna be moving around. I'm using right click to orbit. Uh, and then I'm using the middle mouse button to pen. And what we wanna do is just, you know, roughly align it with the section itself. Um, and then we can scale it up and down. All right. So let's look underneath how it's doing it. I mean, this is this is good enough, you know, just quickly, of course, that you can go on and like do other things and edit. Um, and yeah, if we if we export it like this, it's going to be aligned and it's going to be still. Uh, but I want to show how to do a quick animation as well, because sometimes you want to do something that is more than just a stagnant 3D model. So for that, let's do it in front. Let's leave the model right in front of it. And let's try to animate the actual rotation. Let's make it keep rotating around, um, you know, so when you scan it, the model is rotating and you can watch inside and stuff. So for that, it's very simple as well. So if you look at the rotation, here we can manually change the rotation, right? So if I want to rotate it 90 degrees, it's going to rotate 90 degrees. But then how do you automate that so it's a, a loop animation? So for this, you're going to click on this arrow um, and that's going to create an input for that variable. So once you click it, you can see here, it created this yellow block that has the rotation for the model. And then you can add a patch for a loop animation. So you click on the add a patch thing and then animation, loop animation, add patch. So now we have a loop animation and we can change the duration, how many seconds it takes to do a full loop. Uh, for now, let's put it as 10. And then we need another patch to give from where to where this animation is going to go. So if I click on add a patch and I add a transition, now I have this block to, that it can determine which variable gets changed. So we don't need to rotate on the x axis, so I can leave it at zero. 
we don't we don't need on the z axis because that's represented you know uh, horizontal so we can change it on the y which is represented vertically and we can add 360 what that does is that now in 10 seconds the model is going to change the rotation on the y axis from 0 to 360 and then loop it again so progress we connect to progress and then value we connect to the rotation and now you see it's rotating around from 0 to 360 every 10 seconds so now if we change this to 5 seconds it's going to be double the speed or if we change it to 25 now it's going to be a much slower rotation and then i can change the value to let's say negative 360 and now the the model is going to rotate the other way so again this is pretty simple uh, very easy to do and once you're happy with the results in you know this virtual um, space uh, you can then click on test on device so once you click on here um, you can connect to your Instagram and send it straight to your Instagram for testing which is gonna create this custom uh, filter for you to test and after that you can publish so I'll click on send to Instagram it's gonna load a little bit so now I should receive, yeah, I got a notification. Oh. And I click to test the filter. And yeah, now I have the filter working and then I can simply scan the image that we use for tracking. And there it is, the 3D model's there. So yeah. <laughs> this is not only cool for posting about it and showing your work, but also you can create your whole portfolio as Instagram filters, let's say. So now instead of sending people PDFs and stuff, you can just be like, hey, check out my work, you know, from inside my work. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys use it. If you do, please tag Sunken Blimp when you post about it. And yeah, fly deep. And this is not only cool for posting and showing your work, but also, you know, creating your portfolio like that. Instead of sending a PDF like everyone else, you can actually be, you know, inviting all these people to experience your work from inside your work or seeing right in front of them and using Instagram, which is a platform that a lot of people are already in. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. And if you do use it, tag Sunken Blimp. Also, you know, if you're interested in this type of things and this type of like questions and how to use technology and other things, trying to like get out of the filter uh you know use technology and architecture physical digital all of that join the sunken blimp community the link is in the description below and uh yeah thanks for watching fly deep